Okay, so y'all, at the beginning of every episode, y'all know we pull these cards. Boom. It's a bomb icebreaker. The and the friends edition. They have the healing edition, the couples edition, the marriage edition. We're doing the friends edition because we're friends. <laughs> Duh. Duh. Um, you want to tell them how I found these cards? Okay, so <laughs> you guys pray. Straight, everybody stretch your hands. Okay? Because when two or more are gathered <laughs> in his name, Megan, there he is in the midst. It is not that much and of an need him. It is. You bought an ice cream machine. Two, and they never came. <laughs> Still, I'm gonna look for y'all because I want my ice cream maker. I don't cook, I don't you make ice cream. Eat ice cream. But it was easy because you put the fruit in there and you press the button and it turns into sorbet. <laughs> <laughs> so I want I ordered two. One for me, one for her. And I emailed y'all, y'all in China. I think I got God. <laughs> she got God for sure. But she likes to order <laughs> these ads from Instagram and this. These are like cards where you can get to know each other deeper. You can do it for your friends, your your romantic relationships, whatever. If you want to heal, there's a healing edition. I love them because see, they done fell in love with them, and they would I never. I am a deep person, so I love having those like deep conversations. And so we do this when we get together. If we're just me and her, if it's um, our girls or whatever, we use these cards to get to know each other better. Cool little cool. icebreaker. Okay. You can't look at them. Put them down. My eyes are closed. Go, girl. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. So. Well, this is how to play. And you should look at it. That was the instructions. That was the instructions. Let's do it again. Okay. Let's see. I'm nervous. These cards be deep. It'd be like, what's your deepest, darkest fear? I don't know if we should do this. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? I don't worry Get to that. the nitty gritty. <laughs> <laughs> what bothered you about me today? She'd be like, all they do is argue on this podcast. I don't know what they're talking about. What's the question? Uh, what mistake do you see me making repeatedly, and why do you think I keep making it? Well, let's just pull another card. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay, let's let's make a rule that like whatever card we pull, that's what card we pull. Like, okay. We can't be we can't no, we can't do that. So you just gotta keep it real. And what I know for sure is that mistake. So you want me to say it? <laughs> <laughs> say it. <laughs> no, for sure. Okay. Okay, let's do that one. No, we're going to do that one. No, let's we can do it. Let's put it to the side. Save it, yeah. Put it down, put it down. Okay, well, just pull another one. <laughs> okay. Megan. Okay. You're giving me anxiety about it. See, y'all need to get these cards because they make you confront your demons. It really your does, and it makes you be, it makes you be honest. <laughs> What does it say? Okay. <laughs> what do you think my biggest accomplishment that I failed to recognize is? I don't feel like crying, so I'm already, look, I'm PMS. That you failed to recognize? Like something that I accomplished that I don't recognize for myself. I mean, I, okay, so this is the first thing that came to my mind. I could sit here and think all day, but I would say I know you know you're a phenomenal mother. Don't. But you always feel like you can do better. I'm like, that's as good as you're going to... You're the mom of the fucking year. There's nothing else you can do for these three kids. Unless Jesus comes down himself off the cross or out of heaven or out of the womb, the tree, wherever he is. He rose on the third day. <laughs> Unless Jesus comes down from the heavens himself and was mothering these children, they wouldn't have a better mother. So she's always like, you know, like... Well, I just feel like, I'm like, baby. I beat myself up a lot. You flew from Africa, got in the Uber, <laughs> went to the football game, went back, got on the plane, went to Cancun, met me on tour with Martin, and then you came home to cook and went back to Africa. There's nothing else you can do for them boys. <laughs> be knows I am on the first flight back from any trip. Anything. Anywhere, I am on, if there's a 5 a.m. flight, I'm on the 5 a.m. flight. I want to get back to my She baby. wants to get back to her kids. So, so I think I you. you don't fail to recognize that, but don't ever doubt your... I think every mom knows that, like, you never feel like you do enough. Yeah. You just never feel... And anyway, we can get to that later, but... Yeah. Yes, that's a good one. Okay. What do you... Okay, Jesus. <sighs> fail to recognize? Um... I'll be knowing I'm going to cheat. I'll be down cheat. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fail to recognize this ass. Okay. I think, All right. Um, Sorry. I think B doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> that you fail to recognize Jesus. You know what? I don't think that you recognize... Do I look natural? Because, baby, this... this. You got something in your eyes. Well, what is it? Well, well I boogie. 
Don't zoom in. Camera guy, you stay back. Here you are, Boogie. I don't think you fail to recognize your impact on culture. Mm. I think that you do a <laughs> lot of things that are... Foolish. No, uh -oh. I think, like, I think you do, I don't think you realize how much people look at you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because so, I don't look at myself like that. So I'll you be- You still feel like Braylon. Yes. But I don't, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> be Simone, like what you have created yeah. in your brand is a huge accomplishment. Yeah. And there's tons of stuff that I can get into like on a deeper scale that I, but I'm just saying that's a big thing. I don't think you realize that. Like you cut your hair and then 15 other girls cut their hair and you're like, I was like, you they didn't do that because me. Yeah, you're like, they didn't do that. But I'm like, I think you have you have an impact on culture, mm. and I don't think you recognize that. Yeah. This close friends thing that you're doing. Yeah. Now all of a sudden you have people hitting you up, like, how did you do yeah, that? Yeah, That's yeah. amazing. That's yeah. innovative. When you did um <clears throat> your t-shirt sale mm -hmm. and you did a shirt every Friday, people love that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I don't think you realize the impact that you have on culture and our generation of social media. That's a good one. Okay. Thanks, Lovey. I'll give it his. All right, well, huh? What do you have on your lips? Gay. Jay Nova collection. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's like, uh, She's like, what you got on your lips? It ain't Be Simone Beauty. It's a Jay Nova collection. <laughs> Let me give her a little shout out. That's the only thing. It's either Be Simone Beauty Fuck Mac. or Jay Nova collection. I'm just kidding. I might need to be over them. <laughs> Unless y'all paying. Y'all ain't got to pay me. Just give me some free product. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all want to introduce, you want to introduce our guest? So we're excited because our first guest ever. Ever on our podcast. On our podcast. And, <clears throat> and we've had a, such a good week with them. Well, it's a new week, but like last week was like. Yeah, I can't week. wait to talk Come about that. Week. But we I wouldn't want to start our podcast with any other people. These are our ever. friends. This is our circle. This is our community. These are the women that we um that we trust, that we love, that we build with, that we have deep connections and love and respect for. These are women who I admire, who I look up to, mm -hmm. who if I if I know if I needed anything, I would go to them. Um, so. History with, and it's, some, you know, not history, some I'm, newer some friends, new yeah. Friends. Really, all of them, honestly, for me. Cause let me tell y'all something about my back in there. I'm like, when you gonna come hang out with my friends? She's like, well, baby, they your friends. They not my friends. Give me a minute, I I'm gotta warm introvert. up. I'm an introvert, I'm not an <laughs> extrovert. She's like, I'm at the house. I'm like, well, come on, come on, come on. She's maybe like, in the group chat, like, let's go, bro, let's go, boy, let's go. And then I'm Megan like, be like, <laughs> she'll give a little thumbs up. I'm like, well, are you coming? Text her to side chat. I don't think so. <laughs> it's not because I don't love them. It's just, I just like But now them. she's but now, like, yeah, I love all I'm of them. I'm trying to be different, I'm trying to be, you know, more <laughs> outgoing, <laughs> extroverted. But anyway, I'm really excited. So today we have four of our amazing friends here. And I'm going to start to my left and I'll go around. <laughs> Over here is Miss Jackie O. Yay! Jackie O from the SCO. Jackie O from the SCO. Jackie. Jackie O. Um, <laughs> Y'all see her, her personality. You just can't get enough of it. 24 7. I'm so excited Jackie's here. Jackie is like the best. She's the most bubbly person in our in our friend group. Um, next to her is Miss Ernestine. Johnson. Johnson. Morrison. Morrison. Don't forget the Morrison. <laughs> Show us the ring. Johnson. Ernestine Johnson Morrison. Johnson Morrison. <laughs> if you don't know. Then you're under a rock. Is, then I, don't, I don't even know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are. <laughs> we don't this care. Is the most, don't care. <laughs> she is the Maya Angelou of our generation. Aww. She speaks with conviction. I love her. Um, she's a Pisces. So. Pisces. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Pisces gang, gang over here. And then next to B is Miss Brie Renee from the hey. A. Hey. What's up, it's your girl, Brie Renee from the A, your favorite radio, babe. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, yay, yeah, guys. Thank you hey. so much for having me. Thanks for I'm excited. Radio Tyler. personality. She's just a G. Actress. <laughs> fire. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Higher being society. <laughs> Shout out. Next to her is Leticia. Woo. Hi, Chi. Chi -chi. We know her as Chi Chi. I like that. We know her as Chi Chi. <laughs> yeah. Y'all can't call her Chi Chi. Y'all can't because you don't know her like that. Leticia. Leticia. Mrs. Leticia. Mrs. Gardner. Leticia Gardner. You call her Mrs. Gardner. Yeah. yeah. If you're nasty. <laughs> yeah. We're so excited she's here. Right. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. This is oh, the beginning of our podcast journey. So, yeah. you know, we're super excited. Like I said, I couldn't excited. imagine having any other guests. We had to have you on the episode. Our friends. Because I know we'd be talking up a storm. Okay, so you guys know that we pull these cards, right? When we get together, they pull. They know about these cards. They know that we. Oh, first of all, can we cheers first? Okay, oh, what's yes. your cheers? Yes. Oh my gosh. 
Let's do it. Thank you, Meg. Um, let's cheers to health, friendship, realness, God. Amen. Yes. Else? Jesus. Billion dollar podcast. Billion dollar podcast. Yes. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Love you guys. Love you. Clinky, 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 clinky. You guys look each other in the eye. Oh, sorry. I didn't. No, I didn't know that was a thing. You don't know that? Okay. Seven years of bad sex. Oh, baby. Let me do it. Do it. Look at me. Look at me. I'm good. It's hilarious. I'm not doing that. It's bad sex. I had sex in seven months, y'all. Hello? Can y'all somebody DM me? Well, that sounds like bad sex to me. Seven months? Because you ain't been looking at yeah, it. You ain't been celibate. I, I, I thought it was more, more like a year. No. Where do you want? How you know? I, I, we, I, a year? Because she had a boyfriend. I had a boyfriend. Had a boyfriend. Yeah, was that your oh, that was she just had a boyfriend July? in July? Yes. Oh, it's yeah. been a year. Right? Baby, I know the date. Mm -hmm. July 8th, 2021. Oh, that's how we should know it should be. July 8th. So I remember it was July. I know. She's in the I don't need convincing. I don't remember. I know what day it was. I know, I know what time it was. Yeah. I know what hotel it was. I know. Jesus. She's anyway, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, so thanks for sharing. So here we go. <laughs> okay, let's pull another card so they don't have to do that one. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Let Bree pull one. Okay, go, Bree. Mm. Oh, it's for wait, wait, so when, really we, when Bree pulls the card, do we all we're all answering? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Something juicy. I know, right? That other card, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely do. Okay. 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 So wait. I'm asking this to everybody. Yeah. yeah. Well, or I'll you can choose the person. No, we can all answer. one by one. Well, whoever wants to answer, let's just see. Let's generalize <laughs> it. <laughs> or maybe okay. I have an answer. I'll just, I'll just ask. It. Okay. And yeah. Ask it. Feels well, like whoever answer. wants to answer. For so compelled. what's one piece of advice you have for me regarding my love life? Ooh. 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 <laughs> I feel like Ernestine got to an answer all Okay, go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. Um, I will say, um, regarding your love life. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can keep it real. <laughs> you're like, I don't give a damn. Yeah, I don't give a damn. I really want to know. know. There's two, okay, there's two parts. Okay. So, I think that there is an idea in your head and a vision and a picture in your head. Mm hmm and not to say that that idea and that picture doesn't exist, but I want you to, I always say, I always tell people, ma'am, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's giving me a deep answer. I'm oh, trying to get deep here. Yeah. Having a pillow fight. fighting too. <laughs> um, I always say to thine own self be true. Yes. And yes. whatever that means for you, then do it. So if the picture in your head and the vision in your head is what you know to be true, then do it. But if the picture in your head is not, and it's some fairy tale or it's something because of Instagram or it's yeah. because of outside influences, then don't. So whatever it is regarding your love life and your relationship, and I love your boyfriend, um, just to thine own self be true. Whatever that means for you. Get clear and just get clear. That. Get okay. clear and don't waver from it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, bitch, do me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a queen. I'm a queen. queen. Do me. I'm okay. like, hey, I'm manifesting. I thought you said it was two parts, though. Where's you did say part? it was two parts. Oh, okay. oh, what, was it, what was the other part? Oh, what? No, I actually think I put them both in there. Okay. So okay. So okay. I, okay. I have one yeah. because of our recent conversations. Um, I think it's important to understand that in relationships, anything worth keeping is going to take work. Yeah. And I think patience is important Ooh. because once you step out of the honeymoon stage, yeah. and what Jesus I like to Christ. call a Google line, yeah. the real work comes in. Yeah. And it's so easy to start looking at all the wrongs <laughs> instead of the right. And <laughs> like, look. <laughs> Will you get it together? Because <laughs> I'm perfect. So I don't know. I've done all my work, baby. I've done my work. I don't know what you got going on there. To build something solid, you have to take the focus off of what he's not doing and what's changing in you. Mm. Isn't that accountability? Mm -hmm. So I think that part is real important because I feel like there's three stages to relationship. The ideal, the ordeal, and the real deal. Ooh. And the ideal, Ooh, the ideal is ordeal. the honeymoon stage. You can do no wrong. Yeah, it's perfect. The ordeal, people get trapped in and don't get out of a lot of But you want to know why I think that? Stage. Why we do the most work in the beginning is because we're working in the beginning. We yeah. want you to like it. We want you to like it. Yeah. You, yeah. Because you I'm fight for that other. feeling. Yeah. Both okay. of you are. Effect. It's like, I'm work, I want you to like me. I yeah. want to I want you to see you. See, I never got past yeah. the ideal. No, the ordeal. I never got to the ordeal. Oh, yeah. Well, you yeah, got to ordeal. Yeah, you got to an ordeal. You got to an ordeal. You got to an ordeal. You just left after the ordeal. Yeah, yeah, you got to an ordeal, honey. You got to an ordeal. 
Not oh, about that. Right. Uh, the one that you're gonna get a little <laughs> selfish. What you can do for me, mm-hmm. what you're not doing for me. I tend to focus on that more mm-hmm. than I am. What you are patient. doing, what what is working. Yeah. What, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, that's yeah. all I'll say on that. Yeah, yeah. I nice. That. I appreciate What's it. What's the other one? You said ideal or deal and what? And the real deal. Real deal. The real, real deal, deal is I was like the big what it is. After the fact, after y'all don't work through it and this is like Yeah, well it's now it's not about what you can do for me. It's about I'm solid and I'm whole and I'm healed and whatever you do, I'm good with it. Even if you don't do, I'm still good. Mm, yeah. Mm. Like, there's no expectation. Mm. I love you for you. Hey, I'm not so totally don't. offended. <laughs> yeah. I can Ooh, see I you so and Ooh, allow Jesus. you to fully my walk in who God made you to be without me trying to change you. Yeah. Right? That's the real deal. That's where you're in peace. You don't yeah. argue about the trash. Right? <laughs> oh, oh, it's the little stuff. Oh, it's leave my house, but I'll take it out that trash. I feel attacked. That's personal. You know it goes out every Thursday. You know. Fucking Thursday. But yeah, Ooh, so yeah. that's what I was yeah. saying. That's so maybe advice. Jackie, you want to go? Okay. okay. <laughs> and I really no, don't think... be trying to just pick mine. Because I heard what you're trying to do. I think what you're trying to do, put it Wait, in the Wait, before middle. you answer, <laughs> I don't think, don't switch your cards. Because what I found with like playing yeah. this game is that when you get that card, like that's I needed to hear yeah. that. Yeah. Like, yeah. y'all know it's my no, business. There's no switching. It's yeah, you got to answer it. Once you get a card, that's it. Okay, go ahead. Hold on. Oh my god! You have to. It's it? not nice for me. Okay. Oh, it's something you need to hear. You need to hear it. God. Okay. Did God put that on your heart to say that right now? Yeah. My, okay. yeah. <laughs> um, I I think I have to. Okay, I'll just read generalize. the card. Jackie. No, I don't okay. the card. <laughs> on the card, Jackie. You change the okay. question. <laughs> What's your favorite lip gloss? <laughs> When do you feel I take you for granted? I don't ever feel that. I've never felt that. I've never felt, never felt that. Okay. I've never felt and, that with And, and no, that's still no. not a bad question to ask. And I think maybe you need to hear that you don't do that. I've yeah. never yeah. felt one at one moment yep. that you've ever taken any of your friends for granted. I watch how you, I'm an observer of people, and I watch how you go hard yeah. for everybody. All you the will time. fly across the country. All the time. Yeah. You'll fly to another country. You will, <laughs> All the time. whatever, you're on time, you're punctual, you come with your energy. Like you never take yeah, any, I and I don't think you take life for granted. I don't think you take anything for granted. Yeah. Jackie is my most are. consistent personality-wise personality. friend. Like some days, everybody has good days, bad days. Jackie is pretty the much same the same every day. Every day. Yeah. And I always tell her that. I value that in her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think you take any of us for no. Yeah, I don't think all. so. That's not a good card for you. Oh, but did you, yeah. maybe, maybe she, maybe she doesn't. Maybe, she doesn't. It. maybe no, can I true. flip? Maybe can I flip? Maybe you aren't... Um utilizing us as friends more because you do are always yes. happy no matter and, and yes. you're human so yes. I'm sure that you have like ups and downs or days where you don't feel so maybe that and that's not a bad thing but yeah. maybe you could use us as friends to more yeah. like you. to just support you like you said to be a venting yeah. ear or I feel like when be she for has you. a problem she's still bubbly when she's telling yes. me about it yes. <laughs> she can yeah. get I'm and it can be a problem <laughs> <laughs> Jackie yeah, because yeah. yeah. she'll say it when she's not happy with something. I think you definitely speak your mind, but you still say it so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I like to look yeah. for everything jokingly. I think you do. It's going to be the LOL after people everything. People that are funny because, like, I, I it's yeah, that's not that serious. serious. You a joke and it makes me feel better. I left Braylon's house. I, I don't know if it was on your birthday. It was that night that we did those videos. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, you can insert those on here if you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pop in the video. Never. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've with filter. They're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I like wrecked the side of my car that day. But we had so much fun. We were talking, we were laughing. I was pregnant, so I wasn't even drunk. It was just like good, fun, sober, yeah. clean fun. Y'all might have been lit, but I wasn't. And I had so much fun. I was like on a high. So um, you all, you're very optimistic. Yeah, yeah. I think, like, you see the bright side there. But, but I like that you said that though. That that is interesting. Um, I think that I just. I just, I just, I'm happy. And I think even like oh, when good. Ernestine says like, oh, you just look so cute and stuff all the time. Like wherever you go, you just be oh, looking for sure. cute. It just makes me, 
for sure. No, for sure. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> no, but um, it just makes me feel good. It makes me feel happy. And like, I don't... You do things that make you happy. Yeah, I do things yeah. that make me happy. I don't want to sit in my mood. I never mm, that's beautiful. sit in a sad mood or anything like that. Of course, I have my moments and stuff like that, but I don't like to sit in that. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah I'm going to sit. Yeah. Yeah, but that's okay. Like, yeah, comfortable. Some people are, sit some people get comfortable. Yeah. Sometimes that's part <laughs> of their <laughs> process. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Everybody I think I think what Brie, yeah. I think what Brie was trying to say is like if you do feel that, yeah. know that there's a, a safe community place. and a safe place yeah. for you to, mm -hmm. to have it. that. I know that. Okay. I do yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I just yeah. I was just trying to like flip that. the text. Yeah. Yeah. Thank the Lord, I don't. But you know, yeah. I know that if I ever do. Yeah. I, and Megan, you tell me all the time. You're like, I'm like, I know. if you need, any, I tell yeah, her that every that. time I see her. Mm -hmm. It's so just because I know how that is. Like I know what that feels like to feel like you don't want to. Like, like for, with B, right? She doesn't have any children. So sometimes, oh, no. when Why I go, disrespect Uno like that. Or, <laughs> <laughs> don't do Uno. I'm gonna let her finish, but I'm just, don't just disrespect Uno's feelings. Like, yeah. Uno is her dog, y'all. He's been at the house for a week by himself. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> that's exactly why I'm not thinking about Uno. Uh, <laughs> she she not thinking about Uno. Thinking about Uno. <laughs> that is my baby. I leave the house. I was like, love you. I'll be back. You gotta reassure. You don't think I'm coming back because I'd be gone for a week. Your dog Period. ate my notebook yesterday, and I'm not fucking with Uno today, so I ain't thinking about Uno. Wait, are you but, fussing on this podcast? Yeah, you can. Yeah, it cuts, yeah. Absolutely. But um, sometimes as a mother, you don't want to put... Like, for me, I don't like to burden people, so I kind of hold things to myself a lot, or... That's why I kind of express myself openly and freely on social media because I can say it. I don't have to respond and to anybody. Deal with, mm -hmm. I don't have to deal with the conversation. <laughs> Any opinion? I don't have to deal with... That's yeah. your form of release. Oh, and I don't you. have to consider your feelings about it. If yeah. I just put it on social media, I just put it out there. Take I don't have to... Yeah. Yeah. If you like yeah. it, you don't. If you think it's about you, then fix it. If you don't yeah. think it's about you, then <laughs> move on. Right. But if I'm talking to a person, I, for me, the person that I am, I like to consider how that person is going to respond to that or how that may affect them. So I don't like to like talk about my kids or like how I feel because I feel like that's a lot, especially if you don't have um, a point of reference. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah like sure. if you don't know that life, it can be like, that's a lot. Yeah. To, yeah. And I don't understand. And I don't really know how to give you I don't advice. Know what advice that. to give you? Yeah. yeah. So as a mom, that's why I'm really like, if you need anybody just to get on the phone with and scream, yeah. call me. Yeah. Parenting yeah. is ghetto. Call me because it's like, it will take you to a place. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> there needs to be free. And therapy different stages, yeah. Yeah. different yeah. age groups. Lord. You're becoming a mom every oh my every God. stage. Yeah, every so stage. that's why I'm like, if you ever need anything, that's why I'm big on that. So. Well, all jokes Love aside, that. Uno, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the madness. He is next card. Next card. I want to pull a card. Next you want to pull a card? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ernestine, pull. Um, e e e now let me look at it. It's all in my eyes. Oh, they're upside down. Okay. What do you think would help improve our relationship? Ooh. It's if I'm everybody. coming to affect fitness to work out with you, then you have to come take the heat cycling class with me. Okay. She's like, that's okay. so give and take. Give and take. Give and take. I will come take it. I promise. Because okay. hey, I'm coming Saturday. Don't be set me up. I'm sorry. I'll be there. Oh. Yeah, because she oh. didn't show up. And then she didn't no, show she didn't the show. morning up. No. What happened was. Listen, my life, I'm living, I'm living in the Airbnb right now. <laughs> She's like, give me a minute. I'm going to give you the grace. Uh, this is a weird week, okay? I don't have, I don't have one. Do you want to Because I feel like you're very proactive with, like, with, especially with our relationship, I yeah. feel like you were one of the most proactive adult friends that I've had that, like, was yeah. intentional and, like, will set up... Ernestine things. wants to, to get together. Point, yeah. 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 It's She's like, like, let's like, do it. And All right, like, let's leave these kids and it's husband <laughs> yeah. at home. Yeah, I think... No, 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 I, I can answer okay. that. Okay, okay. Jackie's like, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Jackie's like, she's not a perfect bitch. Hold on. I'm going to more no, um, I know, I know that I could be better. You asked to hang out all the time, mm -hmm. like with the kids, and I think like when I want to go hang out, it it might not necessarily be with the kids. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, if I'm trying to go out, I want to go out. Oh, like, yeah, you, right. go with, uh, you know, like, yeah. I'm yeah. like ah. Like, I don't want to take my baby. No, I yeah. really hit her. I'm like, hey, yeah. we need to play date. She's like, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah. not what I'm kind of dating. Like, I don't date every day. I'm with the kids all the time. I'm trying to get away from these motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, Gotta bring the pump. So, yeah, because even yeah. when I hang out with Leticia, our daughter's the same age, so they go and be Do their free. own thing. They run away, and then it's just like our time. So it's like, I'd be like, oh, with the kids? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but I, I, 
you only have your one. I yeah. have my two to entertain and play with each other, mm -hmm. so they keep yeah. each other company, and I know, you know. Yeah, Kobe Kobe's is alone, alone. Shark. yeah, so I could be better at that for you. You want to pull another one? All right, we'll do one more. Okay. I didn't do one. And then we'll but get into yeah. the nitty gritty. Oh, wait, with the switch. We'll get to the real stuff. To the real deal of how we met. I like these. We could do a whole I know. Isn't it? These aren't these cars great? They're so fun. I love these cars. Y'all want to wanna know the secrets? Mm -hmm. Y'all want to know who I made out with on this couch? Oh, gosh. We'll get to On that. this couch? Yeah. This very couch? This looks like our couch, doesn't it? Not yeah, on this, this couch. This is our couch. Oh, we all made out with Megan, sitting Megan, on this Megan, couch. Megan, we, we all three have the same couch. couch. Me, you, and Jackie. I know. Remember, I asked you when you got when I saw your. I oh, was like, yeah. I, "This is the okay, couch that I ordered." The same that, couch. We need to ask you first. So for irrelevant. Okay. Oh, for sure. This shit was oh, that's where it's from. But it's not the same couch. Talk about oh, really? yeah. talk about the couch. Okay, listen. Okay, what do you think is my biggest challenge right now? Mm. Ooh, you want me to answer? Mm. That? I'm sure. You I don't know. know. You got I, it? I, yeah, I couldn't answer mm -hmm. that. Oh. Um, but we talked about it at dinner. Yeah, the you other can night. say that. Okay, so I I think for. For you, you are navigating a new era of motherhood with your daughter, who's mm -hmm. 16. Yeah. And I think that you are having to confront your own feelings about your own decisions and mm -hmm. how you've, mm -hmm. how it's led to here, and yeah. maybe some of that guilt of having um, a blended family. Yes. And mm -hmm. I think that... Pick the worst baby dad ever. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that you're, you're, like, uh, you're yeah. coming into yeah. that cycle of, um, mm -hmm. of just navigating a new era. And you're having to confront yourself. And I think that that's, that's hard to do. <clears throat> no, for sure. To confront yourself. No, and for sure. <laughs> it's like the hardest thing to do, to recognize your own, you know, your own stuff and, mm. and the things that you project and taking accountability of what you project and taking accountability of how your children are receiving that and responding to that, yeah. mm -hmm. I think it's a very hard thing. And it's a balance yeah. from holding yourself accountable, holding your children accountable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's no, for sure, for sure. Thing. But I think for me, that's the big, for, from what I see as your friend. Yeah. That's like definitely. your biggest thing. I don't have one. You don't have one? Anybody else? Mm -hmm. yeah. but I applaud you though, because you've never had a 16 year old. I yeah. That's for all of Jesus. us. That's Jesus. Yeah. You've never had a 16 year old. Yeah. You don't yeah. know. Yeah. You know, you and we don't give day ourselves, by day. Yeah, you know? we don't give ourselves enough credit for yeah. like what we have accomplished and what we like. You have a beautiful, blended that family. I think now that I'm a mom, I realize like when I was 16 or just whatever age I was, you looked at your mom like she had all the answers. Now that I'm a mom, I'm like, oh no, she was just figuring it out. She didn't know nothing. Yeah. No. No. She had the answers. She did the best she could no. with yeah. what she had. Yeah. You Our know? parents every day. Know. I'm figuring it out every day. I'm like, oh my god, there's no. They don't send you home from the hospital with a manual. Oh. Like, okay, here you go. Here's your pamphlet. Yeah. You just go, and now you're like, they oh, send I have you a human. home with a human. With a human. A whole human. And I will say, human. It is the scariest thing ever. Having her at 19 and like running away from the situation I was in, but still having to face that today because yeah. people want to come back and, yeah. you know, it comes, it's like a whole level of feelings that I have to take responsibility for if she feels rejection if her father's not around, mm -hmm. even though I'm like, look, I, I got you a new Love one. Her. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I have the perfect <laughs> guy right here. Yeah. You know, and navigating those feelings without the guilt and shame of saying that, you know, it was my fault. I laid down with this person mm -hmm. and created that space yeah. for you. Yeah. So and that is... It don't matter what age you become a parent, because when I had Uno at 30, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you could have them young or old. It's still the same struggle. I'm not even. I'm not about to deal with you. I'm sorry. I'm not digging. I'm going to drink it. Here, Lou. Next question. Yeah. Nobody can relate to me. Yeah. I got two. Because when I became a hey, mother to Uno a at 30. Are we going to do another two. card? Do one more card. One more. Wait, who didn't Who didn't pull one? Oh, me. You guys did. and Oh, you didn't. Okay, so you didn't pull one. Oh, yeah, you didn't. Okay. You looked you at them all. Them. You just switched them up. I did not read none of them cards. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you be a cheater. Oh, you looked at them all. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I mean, no, you didn't say that. No. I can do what I want. <laughs> no. No. Okay, okay. I didn't look at them. But you, you didn't. <laughs> she look, looked at all I of them. Didn't. I didn't read thoroughly. I don't want to make okay, it about me. What, 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 you to, pulled the card. They're all about us. No. <laughs> what is the greatest lesson I taught you? Oh. No, go ahead. <laughs> no. One by one. I don't think I'm ready. I remember I said I had an answer oh, for that, yeah. and I don't think I wanted to answer it. See, well, God made me pull it again. So, so what you is the greatest answer. lesson I taught you? I don't know if I can talk about it, though, Whisper. unless you're ready to talk about that on camera. What is it about? It's about... Oh, I've, I've been public with that. You sure? It's in my comedy. Or, I mean, okay. <laughs> you like, God. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. Well, listen, no, goddamn. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm so like, should we talk about? Not? Let's talk about it. Okay. I'm, I'm willing to. I'm. I. You know what? Let's do it. I'm walking in my truth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not holding nothing in. That is something that I'm willing to well, talk about. I will. I will say that. Side note, that is a big lesson that I will say for her is that she likes to walk in her truth. Like, she does not... I don't like to hide, hide stuff. stuff. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 I appreciate heavy. that. Yeah. But, okay, so I'll just... Okay, okay. all right. Just okay. an ass card. And then I'm going to sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Okay, so when... Um, probably a year after... Starting this is crazy. to, I know. We've never discussed this. I know. This, we, what is we, it? We've never, like we've never, never the, since it since happened. that day. We, we've we've talk, never not discussed. Talk about all right, let's talk about it now then. Jeez, we're all waiting. I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. I'm just like, let us get the moment. Wow, on camera, I'm just like, is, wow. We've never really talked about this. Okay, so ever. Ever. After a Give year, me my drink, please. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get a sip. Wow. Too before We've never talked about this, so I'm glad you're getting it on the Know For Sure podcast, because what I knew for sure then... <laughs> Jesus. Was and that what I, I wasn't knew for ready. sure then, I, I wasn't... I, I didn't... I don't agree with now. Wow. We were in Charlotte. It was All-Star Weekend, and at the time, I was still living in Ohio, so I was flying mm. wherever B was, because I traveled with her, so wherever we were, you know, I would meet her there, and um, we were in Charlotte, and she had an event, and I noticed, mm. like, B, are you okay? Like, what is going on with you? She was just super moody, mm-hmm. more than I've ever experienced from her before. I mean, like, she was every, like, I was like, this is so unusual. And her boobs were so big, and she was just so tired. And she, so she, I, we get to this event, and she's like, I think I'm pregnant. And I was like... Okay, let's figure it out. I was like, it's gonna be okay. I was like, no, well, maybe it's just and that event, it's your birth control. It's just and that event, that event crazy. Was the day I met my ex, my recent ex, but we this met was three years ago. Three years ago. Three years ago. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, fine, we'll get a pregnancy test and we'll figure it out. So I think me and her both kind of went on with that night, not thinking anything. Right? We're just like, okay, mm-hmm. she's not pregnant. Like we're not. She's not pregnant. Um, and so the next day, or that night, we had someone run to the store for us, and she took it the first thing in the morning. Like, literally, before she opened, like, I hadn't even opened my eyes yet. Mm. And I'm sitting in the bed, and she's like, you know, she gets up and she goes to the bathroom, she comes out of the bathroom, and she's... Bawling. Bawling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. And I'm like, and she's like, I, I'm pregnant. And I'm like, no. Wow. Because I knew who it was with. And I was just like, No. No, no, take take it again. Like, no. And I think there was two in the box. I don't know if you took the second mm-hmm. one or not. I don't really remember. No. But I remember God. her screaming. Mm. I remember her screaming and being like, oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so fucking stupid. I mean, she was so upset, so angry mm-hmm. at herself. She was screaming. She was mad. And I'm like, okay, so I'm, my role is to fix shit. I have to fix the problem or fix or find a solution. So I'm like, okay, let's... Well, all right, what do you want to do? Like, what is it that you want to do? Mm -hmm. She's like, I can't keep this baby. Mm -hmm. Like, I cannot keep this Mm -hmm. baby. I can't, I can't, I can't. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why this is the greatest lesson that she's taught me is because a little bit about me, I grew up in church, like church, church. Like my mom is a licensed minister. My mom has- are pastors. Yeah, my mom has a master's degree in divinity. Like my mom is Mm. super saved, right? (laughs) Um, But not religious, not like in a, you know, a judgment. Thumper, yeah, yeah, she's not a Bible thumber. She's not like these weirdos. But Do you she's, think time something happened, I'd be like, make an extra mom. Ask your mom. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, I don't know. <laughs> for sure. Ask your mom. <laughs> for, no, like, for sure. she is our for sure. Mm-hmm. So, um, I didn't grow up with this idea that abortion was a good thing. Mm. And I was very judgmental of people who did it yeah. mm. growing up. Very judgmental. Wow. Like, how could you? Yeah. Wow. How dare you? How could you? How dare you? Mm. It wasn't until I had my oldest son, I got pregnant with my oldest son, did that changed for me a little bit when I found myself at an abortion clinic. Ooh. And that changed for me. I didn't even Because know I considered it. Right. I considered it. Wow. Because of the shame that I felt that I got pregnant at 19 <gasps> with somebody I barely knew. Wow. Um, and so pers- situations change your perspective, right? Mm-hmm. But... <clears throat> We found a clinic, and because we needed to get there first thing in the morning, we canceled our flight and drove back to Atlanta. Mm. And I was supposed to go home, and she was like, you can't leave me. And I'm like, okay, no, 
No problem. Mm -hmm. I will drive with you back to Atlanta and I will leave when you need me to leave. No problem. So we get there. I make the appointment. You know, we get there. I take the pregnancy test and then I get on stage. Yeah, keep yeah, that in mind. She still has that. she still yeah, has to do shows. Before, I mean, this was only the second day we were there, so she still has to like. I'm work. like okay. traumatic. Yeah, I was on stage like <laughs> I'm just holding in my fucking tears. <laughs> no, she's laugh like, so she, I can not cry. She's on stage, and part of her set is talking about getting pregnant. Right. Mm. Wow. And she has to say something about an abortion, mm-hmm. or you said something, or about like whatever. Like, You're like, and then she goes mm-hmm. not. Not that I've ever had, not that I've ever been pregnant. Mm, and it was like, because like, that's a part of my set. Joke. It's a part it's of her set. Joke. Yeah. Up so, until that moment, I had never been pregnant. And wow. so I was just like, I don't, it, it was so heavy on me because I didn't know how to feel. I didn't, I didn't want her to get rid of the baby at the time. I didn't. I didn't want her to do that. Mm. I did not want her to do that at that time. I just didn't. Yeah. And, but at the same time, I knew she couldn't have that baby. <laughs> I'm like, you know what I mean? So I was really it, it, torn. It goes to say, like, you never know. Never say never. Yeah, right? no, for sure. Because when <laughs> I, before then, my dad's a pastor. I'm, I'm Christian. I'm, di- I'm never, I, I would never have an abortion. I would ne- well, I've never been pregnant either. Right. Yeah. So when I got pregnant, I was like, you need to make the appointment. Right. Yeah. Like, it was a, it was it, a no-brainer. It, it was a no-brainer. A for pray her. on it. Yeah. I didn't pray about it. I didn't think, I was like, You know oh. your heart immediately. It was an instant decision. Wow. Whether that was right or wrong. It was your decision. It was your decision. At peace. I felt at peace after it happened. Yeah. I didn't I don't, I don't think about it, dream about it, have anxiety about it. But I knew it, in that moment, I was like... Make the appointment. And I think that's... <laughs> the, what's the clinic? <laughs> no. What's the closest clinic? But that's yeah. so important because so many women are afraid to make the best decision for them because they're afraid of what their parents might say, what, what they're taught, what, they, the what, the church you, might what say. the church might say. So it's important that's how it as was. a woman to... I think motherhood is so... Like, I commend any mother commend. that I know. Yeah, because it's such a, a huge life-changing decision, especially for the woman. Yeah, like as a mother, yeah, it's like always for the my mother. grandmother <laughs> always instilled that like yeah you can be married you can have a, a long term relationship but those are your, your kids, kids. <laughs> as a that's just you birth be, them be prepared to take child. care of those children all on your own so I think that's yep. such a huge decision to make and I don't think any woman should be shamed whether oh, no matter I'm what sure. the decision yeah. is let me tell you laying down with the wrong person comes with a lifetime of consequences mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. even or that, you're not ready yeah. even that I don't have a child but I still have to live with that decision I made. Yeah. You yeah. know, when yeah. it comes up in conversation or even in my comedy, I'm like, that did happen. Yeah. 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 You know, but yeah, finish yeah. how, but so I want you to answer the yeah, question. Yeah. So when we got to the, so when we got to Atlanta, we first thing in the morning, we drove up to the clinic and just that whole experience was just. I, now that, as bad as my memory is. You I, remember, I remember every single remember minute every of, that day, wow. of that day. Wow. Of that yeah, morning. Your memory is shot. Shot wow. to I'm hell. Sure. She has the worst memory, but shot. I remember every. See, I remember pulling up. I remember the people um, in line. Oh, Jesus. The I remember amount of people everybody. in line. The amount, the, like from the seconds that abortion clinic opened, it was packed mm. in there. Do you hear me? Mm-hmm. Packed. Jesus. I remember looking at each of their faces. I yep. watched who they were. I mean, I remember every single detail from that moment. Yep. So they bring Braylon to the back and they realized who she was. And they were oh. like, let's make this private for you because we can't just have you out here like that, right? Mm-hmm. And she's crying, like Jesus. filling out the paperwork. No, before crying. we even got to that point, I remember the words that came out of your mouth when we were walking up to the window. And I, I like, I oh, I had a panic attack. And I grabbed you and she grabbed my wrist. She said, not right now. Mm. You're fine. Mm. Wow. You're fine. Mm. Yeah, I, I, she I was, was, she couldn't, she was, was like, like a movie. Office. Yeah, it was. She, she said, she grabbed my wrist. She said, you're fine. Grab the pen. You're fine. You're fine. Because it was her decision. And I didn't want yeah. to... Even in, even in that moment, when we got there, I didn't want her to do it. <laughs> I did not want her to do that. I was still, I felt and so bad. I never bad. knew this. She never told me I this. I felt Until bad. This moment, like, I never it still knew. makes me like kind of teary because it made me, I, I felt friend. bad. That's a great friend. Oh, for yeah. sure. But, um, Can we acknowledge that? <laughs> yeah, that's what Until I'm this that's very moment, friend. I never knew that. Wow. How her feelings were. How she felt. She put yeah. that Supporting aside. me. Yeah. She just walked I never huge. knew that. Wow. I never knew that. That's I amazing. I never knew friend. that. Because so many times we try to put our own opinion of what we yeah. feel like is best for our friend or, oh, no, friend, I got your back. Yeah. What we would do. Or wow. But I never knew that. I never knew that. Um, Sorry. 
Oh, I'm so mm-hmm. sorry. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. <laughs> wow. Um, I never knew that until this moment. Yeah. But anyway, when we got you. there, um, I didn't agree with her. So, but that was her decision, and I didn't want, I didn't want to be responsible if she kept it. Yeah. And regretted it. Yeah. yeah. Or had a hard right. time or something. Wow. And too, because I have a child with special needs, and every and. Everybody, you don't know if that's going to happen or not. Yeah. You don't get pregnant and know if that's going to happen, especially with the type of disabilities mm. my son has. We wouldn't have known until after he was there. Mm. And so I thought about that. I'm like, what if her kid, or something's wrong? What if she, he has, you know, you just never know. So yeah. anyway, we get to the back, and um, mm. I remember we were, <sighs> she was getting, um, filling out her paperwork, and they were getting her prepped, and she's standing they gave you a shot or something. They gave you something was, prepped. Yeah. And I was behind I her. I took medication. You took you medication. About when I was laying down? No, I'm talking about oh. when we were in that waiting room mm-hmm. and I was sitting on the chair behind mm-hmm. you. I was bawling the entire time. I never knew. She And every time she turned around, I tried to like fix. I didn't want her to feel any guilt, anything. I was like, I want you to know that you're supported in this moment. So, but the whole time I was just so broken from it. Mm. So we brought, we go in the room to actually do the procedure and... You were able to go in the room with her? I went in there with her. I, and I think they they only let her in the room because of who I was. Who she was. They wouldn't have let me in the room yeah. prior, I don't think. But because of who she was, you know. And I just, I hated how, like, sterile the situation was. It was very, like, all right, da, da, I'm your sit doctor, down. sit yeah, down, yeah, ba-ba, sure. open up. Yeah. And then you hear this loud machine. and But she grabbed my hand. I'm laying down. She's laying I down. I'm on this side weird. of her. I'm laying down. She was on the right of me. I and had her she, hand. She had. She grabbed my hand, and as it started, I just started praying, and I closed my eyes. And she said, "Look at me." <sighs> she said, "Look at me." It was so. She traumatic. said, "Don't take your eyes off me. Just look at me, please. Just look at me." Mm. And she was like, "We're okay. We're okay." Mm. She was consulting me <laughs> in that moment, and I think the biggest lesson was for me was like, it's okay to face. Um, what you may have disagreed with. Mm. It's okay to face it head on. It's okay to look it in the eye and and see it from a different angle. And even in tragedy, mm. God is still beautiful. He's still working. And he's still working he's still it working. out. And it was such a moment for me to not look away, I think. Not, don't run from this. Mm. Look at it. Look at her. This is what's happening. Look at her and just be there for her and just support her and just love her. It doesn't matter what you think, what's right or wrong, but look at it. Don't run from that. Don't run from this moment. I deal with so much internally that I like to just... Brush it off. Or focus more on it. Yeah, Yeah. Mm -hmm. but like her telling me to look at her. I don't know, it was something about her telling me, look at me, don't take your eyes off me. It's gonna, we're gonna be okay. Like she, her consulting me in that moment Mm. and I didn't even know how badly I needed that. And it just opened me up to just a different way of looking at things. And I never, we've never had this we've discussion, had this but discussion. that was a big moment for me. Wow. Like I just learned moment. something though. Like wow. I realized like as a friend, you gotta be supportive regardless of what your no own opinion what is. Your choice yeah. is. Yeah. Because that's and I know love. I've been, I can literally think of a friend already that I've like, damn, I feel horrible because I wasn't supportive because I, you went against what I thought was best for you. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, and it, facing, yeah. in any situation, what I just learned, facing the truth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No matter what it is, that whether you agree truth. with yeah. it or not, whether, yeah. what, whatever, you have addiction, I don't have addiction. I, I'm a che- I, Whatever my problem is, this is the truth mm-hmm. in this yeah. moment. Mm-hmm. This is happening. Yeah. Yeah. It's the truth. The truth is, I had an abortion. So face the truth, wow. right or wrong. Wow. Walk in your truth, admit your truth, and if you don't like the truth, Fix it. change it. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you I never have one of those scares again. <laughs> it will never be my truth again. Mm. You know, if yeah, you don't I'm like not, something yeah. about yourself, change it. And if you can't change it, embrace it. But facing the truth head on. And that's one reason why I allowed her to share that story. But that's I crazy. also want to just add and just say that. Um, I know we're all friends. Oh, I don't even want to get Terry. <laughs> I'm like, I'm already, I can't believe I cried. I never knew that. I know we're all friends, but um, what you and Megan have is so special. Mm-hmm. And my mom used to always tell me growing up, I used to always be like, oh, mom, this is my friend. Oh, the, mom, this is my friend. Oh, mom, this is my friend. And my mom used to always be like, Ernestine, Everybody. Everybody. you'll be lucky if you have one friend. Jesus. And I tell my daughter. And I was like, no, she's time. my friend, and she's my friend, and she's my friend. And what you guys have is so special. Mm-hmm. And I hope you guys really understand that, like, 
I know we're all friends, but yeah. you got that that friend who's gonna sit there and hold your hand on an abortion table Jesus. and pray over you Jesus. and look you in the eye when you ask to look at me. That is different. There's levels. There's yeah. levels. And, and I I yearn for that type of mm. friendship, and it's so special that you guys have that. Thank you. I think it takes years. I was about to say it takes it takes years to twenty years. Cheers to twenty years. Cheers. I'm reading this book now called All About wow. Love by Bell Hooks. Mm-hmm. And it says that there is no difference between romantic love and mm-hmm. friendship love. Or so something. just like we were just telling me like, I and, and I think we had this conversation off camera, like how it takes time to build those bonds that you want with your mate, your romantic mate. Yeah. I think it takes just as much time. And it's you guys' 20 relationship years of work. is a testament to that. 20 years of levels and seeing the good, the bad, the mm-hmm. indifferent, yeah. the rope, the up, the high, the low, you know what I mean? Yeah. And building that. So but can I say Were that? Were you guys friends you. the whole 20 years or was there ever No, a we, that's what I was going to say. Break. There was a break because we met when we were 12 and then when I, um, when my mother and my stepfather got divorced, we mm. moved to Patasca, Ohio. We lived in Gahanna, Ohio. That's yeah. where we grew up. Mm-hmm. But I moved to Patasca, Ohio, and then she had a situation with her family, and she, you know, drastically moved to Dallas. Mm-hmm. And there was 10 years apart. But I'm so thankful for that because in those 10 years, like that— Were you guys in contact those 10 years? Randomly. Like, not like— Facebook. Yeah, like or Facebook like, or it, random or messages, it was, it, but it wasn't— We talk, like, you're still my bestie, but it wasn't a con- connection. It wasn't connected yeah. for 10 years. It yeah. wasn't, and it wasn't consistent, consistent and it wasn't like— Consistent communication. Yeah. yeah. But we always kind of, like, kept in touch a little bit. Mm-hmm. But, I, but I'm so thankful for those times because had I not had that time, mm-hmm. I wouldn't be prepared for that moment mm-hmm. of her on that table. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have, because I wouldn't have known God the way that I know God. Uh. And I always say that I'm like, God took us in two separate directions to develop his perfect will inside of us to bring those things and those skills and bring us back together so that we can do this. Mm-hmm. Literally. So that we can share our story and so that we can show people that you can have those relationships. Because guess what? At the end of the day, if any of you guys were on that table where I am now in my life, I would be able to look each of you in the eye and do that mm. exact same wow. thing. Wow. Do you see what I'm wow. saying? Because of where I am, because now, of that time yeah. that God has developed me and developed mm-hmm. my person, developed my personality, developed yeah. his gifts inside of me, I'm able to do that. Mm-hmm. But it was in that moment that I think it was more revealed of how far I had come and how it wasn't just me supporting her. Yeah. It yeah. was her supporting me. Mm-hmm. And she didn't wow. know that, wow. but it but it was. Brittany, so, I want, did, Would you have preferred to know her thoughts, or do you like that you Didn't are just know. discovering this now? I like that I'm just discovering it now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because in that moment, that's not what I needed to hear. It could okay. have clouded mm-hmm. you. Okay. Yeah, I definitely was more would. than, and in that moment, wh- whether it was the truth or not, I'm like, my girl got my back. She had my back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But it wasn't a doubt in my mind that it bothered her. Right. She, I'm like, she's being my strength right now. Right. Both mm-hmm. of us can't be weak. Yeah. Right. You know, I didn't need to know that she was also battling, this is not right. right. Or yeah. this is, I, of course I didn't think it was right. I still did it. Would you have preferred Megan to tell you how she felt? Or did you like that she kept that from you? Mm. No. I 100% like that she didn't tell me. Oh. Not because it wasn't relevant, I guess, or her truth in the moment, but I don't think I would have been able to handle us both going through it. Because mm-hmm. to me, in my mind, she wasn't going through it. Right. She was just mm-hmm. supporting me. Of course, she was emotional. Some right there. Emotional because of what I was going through, but she was like my rock at that time. Mm. So I wouldn't have wanted to know that she was like actually having a mental war yeah. or a mental, you know. It was mental, it was spiritual, it was yeah. emotional. I was having a full on like battle with myself because I also felt like because I was there, I was responsible as well. Yeah. I have to live with that decision yeah. too because I, mm. I co-signed it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. So yeah, so. I'm I'm glad I didn't know that in that moment. But I am glad I know it now. Yeah. yeah. But that's important. I never knew that. Your friends don't need... Sometimes your friends just need you to show up. Yeah. I don't need your opinion. Every I don't time. need your, yeah. your convictions. I just need you to show up. And I just need... And sometimes as a friend and in relationships in general, not just friendships, any relationship, sometimes, most times, it's not about you. Yeah. 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 And when the person's mind is made up. Yeah. It was a definite yes for me. It wasn't a let's... I, 
unfortunately, I didn't pray about it. I honestly didn't. I didn't say I'm going to wait and see what God. I didn't think about it. It was that was my decision in that moment. When your friends are for sure, so whether it's right or wrong, okay, learn on your own. Mm -hmm. I'm here to just support you in that moment. And you, as a friend, have the decision to make. If I'm gonna go and be a part of it, then be play your role. Yeah. Be supportive. Don't go and be, be there a part and be of mad it and have an attitude Come on. or have and your Come heart's on. not right. Come because on. the posture of your heart is very important. And it yeah. can be felt. It and can it be, can be felt, felt whether wow. you're saying it or you, not. Wow. It can be felt. Mm-hmm. And that's important. It's like because both of us had a decision to make. She made her decision and it was up to me to make the decision yeah. if I was gonna co-sign and be a part of that and support her support or not. It, now I can't say I support you and then we get there. And I'm like, you really wanna and I'm and I got an attitude. It's so uh, important to like surround yourself with a community, especially within women, where it's a judgment free zone. We have to. We gotta walk in love with all things because we all are very strong boss women and we have our minds kind of made up on who we are and what we wanna do. So we're not looking for people to fix us or to change us, to adjust us. Just support and walk with me. Mm -hmm. Right or wrong, if I fall, scoop me up and keep it moving. You know what I mean? I think it's so important to do that with each other Mm -hmm. when we're called to really uplift each other. Mm -hmm. For sure. Because it's so easy to break somebody Mm -hmm. down based off your Which is why I think this group of women works. Because like it's like you said, I'm not looking for you to like fix me like Mm -hmm. I it just we're peers and we're supporting each other. Mm-hmm. But what's crazy, because I was going to ask a question about Instagram. Like, what do y'all think about Instagram friends and, like, real life friends? But I met all of y'all on Instagram. That's not crazy. Me. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. But I met you. Yeah. Social media. Well, you I've didn't technically them. meet me through Instagram. You knew of me through my through poetry. Through Instagram. social yeah. media, though. But we met in person. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. through social media. Yeah. You know we what I mean? Introduce. Yeah. Introduce. Well, you kind of yeah. who you were. So even if I met you in person and then we started following you on social media, you still kind of build some type of relationship because yeah. you're commenting, yeah. you're supporting, yeah. you're liking, or yeah. you're streaming each yeah. other. So you kind of build that yeah. Instagram. Or, I do yeah, think yeah, there's yeah. a difference between, you know, social media friends. There's a huge difference. Or friends you just, you know, may shoot content with. Like, and there's a place for them. Yeah. Like, there's a place for it's people. It's nothing wrong with having... But you guys will hear this, me say this all the time. I use the word associate. I don't call everybody friend. I'm yeah. like, like, oh, no, associate of mine because you're an associate. Yeah. I feel like friends are friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is my definition. Friends are friends and then there's associates mm-hmm. and yeah. there's a place for both and mm-hmm. I love both. I love my associates. Like club friends. Yeah. 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 Instagram friends. That's really different yeah. groups. For like, sure. Different but tiers of life too. With, if I feel like I'm vulnerable, any anybody I'm around, I have to feel like I can put my hair down. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can walk mm-hmm. in my truth like without feeling judged. Like friends come to judged. my house. Yeah. If I've invited you to my house or we hang out like outside of like social gatherings. Bet, like, yeah. just... Can I just say, if you have a friend and you ain't never been to their house, you ain't their friend. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm saying like, I'm just saying Close no, no, I'm been saying, at house I'm there, saying, but I, you're my, but I get what but you're saying. saying. No, no, I'm saying no. if you've always been at my house yeah. and we only hang out either at my house or somewhere else, and I ain't never been to your house, right. that's a problem. Or for not me. even never been, never allowed. Oh, allowed. Like, yeah, allowed. Like it's yeah. an invitation. I don't like that. Yeah. That's yeah. a red flag. Yeah. For me. That's and, a red flag for me too. And yeah. if you are constantly trying to know about me and you don't pour, pour and I don't know nothing about you, you oh my you god, know all my business. But when it comes to you, it's like, oh, oh fine. or vice versa. Oh, I don't I have like that. that. I feel like every time I call, they only want to talk about them. Oh, I hate that. And then they off the phone. It's like, well, damn, bitch, what? I was calling because my, <laughs> <was right. laughs> my day was rough. My day was rough. You know what's crazy? Though? I've had family members though that have, <laughs> will come to everything I have or support or whatever, but never invite Bite me you to things. things. What yeah. is that? I don't know. That's I don't weird. understand that. That's yeah. weird. I don't understand, especially in friendships. Like I don't. I feel like people use love freely. I feel like people use friendship freely, say friendship. I feel like people... Is it friendship or using them? What can I get out of The words. I think they use the word. I think they use the word freely. Like yeah. like she said, like, like oh, you're my, my associate. You're an associate. Yeah. Yeah. And that's okay. Not you're not yeah. my friend. Friendship. That's my club but friend. Every, but because or of social coworker. media... <laughs> Because of social media, everybody's your friend. Yeah, or people be like, love you. Or I know you. I hear people like, love you, and I'm like, mm. Why? We're associates. Well, I say I love you to everybody. I don't. I do. I don't. I, I do. Because you, please, queen. <laughs> no, because you, no, because you walk in love, so you do love. I'm just not going to verbally say I love well, you. Well, not to everybody. Like, okay, the camera guy. Associate. When we leave today, I'm not going to be like, I love you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, you didn't have to <laughs> tell that man that. I don't love you. I love you. 
I'm just kidding. But like, but there's some people who are in my life who may be like a greenlit supporter or like just not even I want to say greenlit supporter because I do love my greenlit family. But like just people who are just like associates and they're like, okay, girl, I love you, and I'm like. I just don't use that word freely. Oh, I. It I, may be a little bit more intimate I love you for lot. you. For too. somebody else, it may too. be you. I, I hang up. I always say love you, bye. I do too. I do too. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do. don't. I do. And that's I love you. Not, people, every, not yeah. everybody. I say it to y'all. I'm like, all right, love you guys. I mean, not on the phone with my agents. Like, love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for getting me the booking. I love you guys. <laughs> 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 no. But I'm. I'm. I feel like I'm kind of reserved on who. I'm kind of like that. I'm because love is a very big deal. You for guys me. are Pisces, yeah. Yeah. and we're Pisces. Yeah, yeah it's a it's very a big, big deal. deal. I don't just, I don't and I don't say it that way. Yeah. yeah. Because if I because if I say it, I'm going there with you. Yeah. I'm yeah. going there. I'm yeah. gonna love you. I'm gonna love you. I will love the shit out of anybody. Yeah. Like I am a love. I want to love the shit out of you. Like you can say you love me, but have you actually shown that? you walk like okay, like a homeless person on the corner. Like if I give them five dollars, I love you, bro. God bless. I'm gonna what say I love you. What are you talking about? What are you taking it somewhere else? What are you talking about? I'm talking about people who like. What is she talking about? Act like they're closer like to me. you than I they are. I would say Jackie. I'd be like, what are you talking about? Right. But I'm saying Ernestine wouldn't say love you to the homeless man. She's yeah. not gonna say love you to somebody she had lunch with. <laughs> <laughs> that don't matter. She's not gonna say it. She's I would say love you to the homeless man after I gave him a dub. No, you wouldn't. I would, you would say love you. God bless you. I love you, my brother. I would do that, yes. I'm talking about specifically when it's like there's been instances where there are people who may be around me in a certain capacity that may feel closer to me than I am to them. Yeah, but Pisces are always going to, you're always going to have, we're always going to have And, they'll, that. and yeah. they'll like, okay, love you, girl. And I'm mm -hmm. like, does it girl, bother you? One time. Does it, wait, wait, you wait, wait, does, it bother you? Already? does it bother you when they do that? Like, it sounds like it bothers. It's like uncomfortable. Like you feel like it's she doesn't innocent. understand it because she doesn't feel the same. I know, but does no. it bother you, though? No, but it doesn't bother me, per se, but it does make me question, like, okay, she's the type of friend who just call everybody friend, and I don't call everybody friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so you, like... I'm the same. I, I, yeah. I, call, a lot, I, I call a lot of people I love them, too. Me and too, I, yeah. And when I say it, I actually... But if you love them, then you love them. Yeah, I genuinely... Yeah. I genuinely... Yeah. Like, I don't love anybody. <laughs> <laughs> For you, it might be levels. Levels. There might be levels. I love levels. a lot of people. I'm just saying sometimes when I, it's like, you meet a girl and you guys go to lunch one time. And now she's like, love you, girl. I'm not going to say. That girl, makes sense to me. We went to lunch one time, girl. <laughs> In this moment, you love me. You can't <laughs> right. Especially if you see, think of but you see, are, It yeah. can mean I love your energy. I love what you do for me. I love how you yeah, pour into I me. It. I love I the, get it. the vibe that we no, have when we're around each other. I'm not going right. to say it, though. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I don't think I hear anyone sitting down like, I am in love with you. <laughs> you are a sexual thing. God, I love you. I'm just saying, like Megan said, I don't throw certain words yeah. around. Yeah, I'm the same. Yeah. I don't I'm the throw same. freely. Yeah. If I call you my friend, I mean that. Yeah. yeah. I don't just call everybody friend that I just meet off Instagram. Oh, you're my friend. I, I think I have my friends and then I have homegirls. I think yeah. instead yeah. of... I, I, instead yeah. of associates, yeah. you're like, that's a homegirl. That's a homegirl. Yeah. Friendships take time to build. And I think after... And you could feel like a friend after a certain conversation. Yeah. I could have just poured my whole heart and you fed straight into it. I'm like, you know what? I, I love I'm her. Right with you. Yeah. But I think love I is think proven through action every day. And it's proven over time. And yeah. you have to commit to that in everything. I ain't been through enough with you for you to say you love me. Yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Not yeah, you, yeah. but I'm saying... Any yeah. random no, I That's what I'm saying. saying. We haven't been, we ain't through, been enough through enough for me and, to be talking about I love you. And it ain't been tested. So, you, yeah, yeah, you love me love right now, but we ain't, it's, easy. it's easy. It's easy right now. It's easy. But the good thing is that we don't all have to agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> other people we love. Yeah. Yeah. That's I, I, totally I like, fine. I like because we were just saying in the kitchen how different all of our personalities are. We are very are. different. We are all so different. It's yeah. crazy. It's okay, let me say this. Personality It sounds like the love work can make you uncomfortable just because you kind of question and that could be from personal history or maybe yeah. what your mom fed yeah. to you. I think it's, it's I think it's conviction. Careful. But like for me, I don't like some people are just huggers. It took me a long mm -hmm. time to be okay with people, especially hugging, if I don't, you. hugging you. Hugging me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I kinda like to because you from the door. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like, hit me one of You know, uh, it's still right. something I have yeah. to like intentionally like, meet you like, hi, say, hi. Okay, hi. That I've had to learn to do because it would make me uncomfortable. People would just hug me. Like, mm. why are you touching me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a New York thing. Though. You think so? I'm yeah. Jersey. Yeah. So, y'all, in the comments, wherever this podcast is, on whatever platform that you're listening or watching, YouTube, Instagram, we're going to post a picture together, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. See, um, 
comment who you think you're the most like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is yeah. 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 Now we're gonna go down the line and we're gonna say like who we think each personality is. And you say, are you Chi Chi, Leticia, Brie Renee, B Simone, Megan A. Brooks, Ernestine, Johnson Morrison, or Ms. She's Ms. like Jackie. Me, 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 me. So but how do they know our personality? We're gonna say we're gonna go down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, like I no, I think no, we no, should say no, what yeah. your version oh, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and me, well, I'm sure you're going to say it. No, I think we all should say okay. what we think our personality is. Okay, so what's my personality? Knowing me, what, how okay. would you describe me? I feel like when you're when you go first of all, she's gonna talk friend. about her husband. She's, all yes. damn nice. I was like, wife's life. Like, <laughs> wife's life. Okay. He's successful. Yeah, honey, yeah. He's he's life. Life. God fearing. Yeah. yeah. No, she's, she's wife. I'm gonna hype my man. She's uh, gonna yeah. ride for her yeah. man. Yeah. She, sure. she, Regardless. She is so Captain Wifey. Guess who's right there? Rod. If he ain't right there, he on the phone. If he ain't on the phone, he in the car. If he's not on the way. Or she just posted him and he in the comments. And he in the comments. Yeah. It's like he's around and we always feel like your wife. I love that though. But you're also, you're a family woman. Yeah. 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 You're a family, family. You're a family, family. Dude, family. Yeah. And you're Fits. very blunt. Yeah. I, I think you're blunt. Um, bold. For yeah, sure. I think you're bold. And, and opinionated. You say exactly what oh, yeah. you feel. And you write really long Instagram. <laughs> yeah. So do yeah. I. So do uh, I. I'm the same way. Yeah. Really yeah, yeah long. Your Instagram captions do be long. They do. Yeah, they <laughs> you're a really long. good writer. But people but, love that. But too. I like reading yeah. them. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I do. Because I'm a long writer, too. So I'd be like, oh, she's talking. Let's Yeah. 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 Well, thank yeah. you, thank you. I like that. So I write long Instagram. I'm bold. I'm <laughs> opinionated. You're, you're God-fearing. You're God-fearing. You're God you're you're God you're you're and and my now, man. and she, she's the sexy. I feel like the she's the sexy. sexy. Yeah. Yeah. She's like the, I'm very, she's very like. Chi Chi is just, definitely the yeah, sexy. And sexy. you know what I will give you? You are the most like beauty um, <laughs> like store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like my friends tell me like, oh, I love how you have ass. You do, like I thought I like to do things, but you are the, you like to do. It's like my self-care. Yeah. Outside of my husband and family and kids, I'm like, that's my me. That's your thing. Yeah. I just love it. I like it. Brie Renee is the more tomboy. Sporty. Yeah. Sporty. Sporty Spice. Sporty Spice. Sporty Spice. You're Sporty Spice. Sporty Spice. Yes. I'm not going to fight somebody yes. over that. That's me. That's me. Yes. I am Sporty Spice. Yes, I love that. Sporty yes. Spice. Sporty Spice. Even I don't her talk to Brie sneakers. every single day, but when you do talk to her... It's just like you've been talking all mm -hmm. month, all yeah. year. Like, she was like, what's up? I'm I need to pull up. Brie is that. definitely easy to pick up where you left off. Yeah. We have to talk yeah. every day, even though we do talk yeah. weekly. A lot, yeah. But it's like you, you pick up right where I you left I feel bad about that. And I will say it's that okay. I'm working on that. Because I, I get in my own little... Now, she, yeah. won't respond, she won't return phone calls right away either. Because it's been a couple <laughs> no, times where I, be I call in my her. Own, I, the, I be in my, my own head, head so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. And I be like, did she see my missed call? Because I know I called her two times. And I be like, you know, let me do better about reaching out and connecting. But I am that friend, like, no matter how long the time is. Yeah. You like, never skip a beat with yeah. me. Yeah. yeah, and I will say, surprisingly, as sporty as you are, you're actually very soft. Soft. Yeah. Yeah. You are, you actually, She's such you know, a cuddle girl. Like, I would never soft. got called soft. <laughs> like, you have such a sweet spirit. Like, I don't know if that comes off, like, initially. I don't know if I would call someone, you soft, But you have a very She's a soft side. I feel like she's a soft side. It's inviting yeah. that you okay. wouldn't really know just from looking at you. Until okay. you sit down and talk to you, I think that's one of the first things. I'm like, she's so welcome. Welcome. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Like, in a way. Okay. B. Okay, B. Definitely the funny person. Yeah, she's right. our funny like, friend. Definitely Everything is a clown. joke. Everything's okay. a joke. Yes. <laughs> but then she'll get she's, real deep in the yeah. same sentence. Yeah. Very emotional. For sure. Very, she cry, you give her just this, this, toilet tissue. <laughs> There's no more in the bathroom. Yeah. Very yeah. driven, so very soft. sure emotional. of herself. Like, when she says something, like, she's like, yeah, I'm going to make a billion dollars. Like, I believe it. When, mm -hmm. she, when and he says, she's going to do something, she I believe it. it. Mm -hmm. You know what else, though, I love is that you go hard for what you want, no matter how many times you fall down. Yeah. yeah. You go for it, especially when it comes to love and what you want for yourself, you're not you're gonna like, so settle. Yeah. But you're not gonna give up either. I don't care, he's not here. You yeah. don't let the right. world make you cold. It just, yeah, yeah, yeah. you still yeah. just keep oh, going for exactly you. what you want. I, yeah. that a lot. I love that she, um, I, I love that she lives unabashedly. Like, she just is, Ooh, she doesn't care like about, <laughs> she doesn't care to be embarrassed. She doesn't oh, care. Sure, yeah. And even, even one thing I really love about her is that when she commits, she commits. If, mm -hmm. Even if she's making a fool of herself. We were in a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> one time. What? <laughs> we were in a strip club one time. And you know how B, we all have seen B when she gets drunk. Yeah. She thinks she is fucking Beyonce. Diddy. Yeah. Diddy. She thinks it's she, Diddy. It's, it's yeah, Diddy it's Diddy. Diddy. I can't I mean, in the negative. 
It she matter. is a very she has very Diddy energy, <laughs> and she just she doesn't care. She's like, let's run it, let, and she gets very Swipe um, it, run it out. she gets oh, very yeah. uh, she's very sh she likes to show off. She yeah, likes to sure. like, it's my show, it's my club, it's for my sure. time, it's very awesome. She is on the <laughs> damn. Yeah. That's a great. That's a great. What, word, right. what, what does that mean? Make the definition pop up and pose. <laughs> <laughs> Unabashedly and ostentatious. ostentatious. I'm just like, y'all gonna see me. Yeah. But yes. we get on, we're at the strip club and she she's drunk at this point. And she gets <laughs> up on the stage with a stripper and she has all these ones and she's on her shit. You know, here she goes throwing them. And she gets so caught up in the moment. I don't know what dance she was doing. I literally was, no, she was stomping her feet like I thought she was in church. Like, oh, not in a strip club. But church. what I love though is that she, she doesn't church. care. She care. And yeah. she commits. I'm getting church at the strip club. But then she realized she comes to herself like, and she's like, we gotta, gotta go. go. <laughs> she literally was like, like, we gotta go. And we, and we just left. I looked at my soft play, but I said, we gotta get the fuck out of here. She said, man, we get in the car. She said, bitch, I just did a whole concert for Clay, though. I don't know. <laughs> I said, we gotta go. And I love how yeah. you always look out for your friends. Like, yeah. any kind of way yeah. you can include mm -hmm. or, or alley you yeah. or you are very intentional. Okay, yeah. Hey, we yeah. get it. You're a comedian. Relax. Yeah, yeah. Like, she said, I, I, love, like, I love, like, even if we're talking about business, she'll always end with, like, oh, how are you doing? And how's Kobe? Like, mm -hmm. she'll yeah. make sure she brings it back. Like, okay, we do business together, but we're also friends. friends. So, yeah. Like, how's yeah. Kobe? Good. How's Jay? Like, like person, always. You gotta work on that. I don't yeah. think I've always done that. But, you're doing yeah. good. No, you do. You just started like the last like hey, year or two for sure. It. Yeah. But you can tell like she's like, make sure you ask. Yeah. Don't it's do not that. about you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, how are you doing? How's the family? But it is it's important. It's important. It's important. It's important. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay so Megan. Megan is definitely our spiritual, spiritual yes. friend. You're the vessel. Yeah. Like you're yeah. the closest to God. You're the yeah. mom. We yes. need you. Yeah. <laughs> we were lost before you. <laughs> Now we're blind, but now we see. <laughs> no, for sure. I, I think you're like the mom. And She's I don't mean like the mom, sure mom, like energy. your mom, yeah. but like the mom leadership. Energy, yeah. Yeah. The one that's going to be like, uh, okay, let's bring it back to balance yeah. every single time. She like, checks all the box off, too. Every like, box. You're always going to make sure, okay, well, let's do yeah, that. You're always going to play both Jeez. sides for it. Okay, I can see it here, and I can see it here. Yeah. And you're going to get the people that you're talking to to see it without you telling them. Yeah. yeah. You have like a skill with that. Thank yeah. you. You had an awakening Thank with you. me the other day and I was like, damn it, I didn't even know that till this moment. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like you how you pay that? attention to details and you implement yes. it without being aggressive. Like I never oh, feel, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm, even yeah. when you're, when I see you working with B or in it, it feels like you're not overbearing or overpowering. Nobody ever feels like, oh my God. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. All right. Like you're ever, still making ever. sure. You just hit bitch. All right. Like you make it look so All easy. All the details are just yeah. handled. Yeah. Details, details, yeah. details, yeah. details, 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 structure, I organization. Think you're so well spoken, and even yes. though we've only been friends for a short amount of time, I think that I could see you blossoming into yes. a different woman. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I could to like. I feel like I can like see. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I feel like yeah. you're you're not even who you are. All the way called. One hundred percent. I feel like you're yeah. just now coming out of as her shell or. Whatever it's it is, so you're scary. In. Closest friend, I've never even seen that. Yeah, yeah, I've it's never happening. seen. Yeah, it's, it's happening. happening now. It's happening. It's happening right now. Yeah. Yeah. And we get to. It's see beautiful it. to watch. Yeah. 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 It's beautiful. I know I was gonna cry again, but I, yeah, I definitely feel like I'm in a I'm in a um, transition phase, and I feel um, I feel nervous, but not in a bad way. Good. I feel like That's I'm good. anticipating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel that. I feel anticipation. Yeah. yeah. I feel. I feel like I felt expecting, when I was expecting when it. I was pregnant. Mm. Yeah, I, wow. that, yeah, because you're that, birthing like you're something. Birthing yes, you. I yeah. feel like something is coming. Something is here. Something's blossoming. yeah, like you said, blossoming, blossoming and blooming. And expecting, yeah. But um, I haven't always been not aggressive in my approach, and I haven't always not been blunt mm. and allowed people to come to their own conclusion mm -hmm. through the way I articulate. And I haven't always been able to articulate myself and I haven't. And so for, for my friends to see that is such a big thing for me because I hold myself accountable mm. and I and I want to make sure that my friends experience or whoever experiences the best for me. Yeah. And I, I'm and really trying to work on that. I've yes. really been yeah, trying to work like, on even that. Even from the first time I met you, Thank it was a complete you. difference from the really? first time. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah, first interactions, wow. for sure. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Okay. 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 The queen. The valley girl. The queen. Did I say, did I say you were blunt? Oh, no, 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 no. I meant... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I got to switch it up and say, I mean, queen. black queen. <laughs> black 
exactly. But it's I love that. I love that Ernestine too. does not hold because so many times, like as I think as women, we like bite our tongues or we're unsure, but we know in our heart that something's not right or we need to speak mm -hmm. up. But Ernestine is always gonna speak up. Mm -hmm. Always. Ernestine is always gonna stand up for herself or mm -hmm. what her her ideas, mm -hmm. her thoughts. So mm -hmm. I think that's important because mm -hmm. women we shun ourselves and mm -hmm. like yeah. you know yeah. shrink ourselves. We back. shrink ourselves. And yeah. Ernestine, Ernestine, and I text her the other. I text all y'all the other day when we went out to dinner just because I was so. Just overwhelmed. overwhelmed. Yeah. 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 So full. Yeah. Like yeah. after the Zoom call, after our dinner, yeah. I was just so full and That's so appreciative. Way. And I feel like as a group, our relationship just really went to another yeah. level. Yeah. Yeah. But um when I when I text her, I was like, you you have this um, ability to hold us accountable. And that's so important yeah. in a group of friends. Yeah. yeah. To be the person like I'm and not holding you accountable in the way of bashing you. Mm -hmm. But I see what God has placed in you and I'm gonna hold you accountable to getting there. Yeah. Put a date on it. And she yeah, yeah, yeah. What date? she's that friend. She's yeah. like, she is the confirmer, she is the accountability. Okay, so when are we doing it? Yeah. yeah. Put it on the oh, you wanna Let's do it? it. Okay, who's she's calendar? like, so when are we doing right it? Now. Everybody get your calendars out. All right. So dinner calendar. tomorrow. Like yeah. she's very yeah. she's gonna we'll hold us. Right. Next week. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that she doesn't shrink herself. Mm -hmm. And I love that you hold your friends accountable. And I love that when people are around you, they're forced to elevate. Mm -hmm. You can't be around you and yeah, not elevate. You can't. Yeah. Yeah. I can't be yeah. around you and not present and not my boss best. Up. I can't be around you. You don't yeah. accept mediocrity. No. Yeah. In any yeah. way. In any, in any way. way. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. any way. And even if I'm like, EJ, you did not say I would pull up. You don't think we all said that to her. But she my but it's authentic, so I don't care. Sure. It's right. Like, My vibe sure. with you, I feel like even in sweats, you walk in like elegant. Yes. yes. It's like, like there's I'm here. a kind of demeanor that is very a regalness. Regal. Right Regal. Here regalness. With this. Poised, baby. Poised. Very. Yeah. You're just she got whole uh, cartoon characters on, and I still feel like she's on the throne. Right. Bugs Bunny and everybody. And it's still like. Devil. Right here. Yeah, she, yeah, I love that. Elegant. I appreciate that. Like, like I told that. B the other night when B gave us um, all gifts and cards, for you guys to say, like, I love the bluntness. I love that yes. you elevate yeah. the room. You don't know how much that means to me because there's so many people who hate that about mm -hmm. me. <gasps> they want, they hate that I don't right? shrink in a room. They want me to shrink. They want me mm -hmm. to not be a pain. Mm -hmm. They want me tribe. to not do the most. And mm -hmm. I'm like, no, I'm gonna do the most. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, I don't Period. Still doing the most. Because my, my idea is a great idea. So yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I want. I admire that. Like I feel yeah, like I want to be more but like that in we certain want ways. To be held accountable. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're to the point now where we're like, okay. It's and you know what it is? Because I have to work work on. Iron sharpens iron. That means you're iron. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm the type of person I can't be around anybody but you iron. You don't want to yeah. be sharpened. If you're not. Yeah. Nice, I'm going to cut you. I can't be around I said, wood. Yes, I'm going to cut you. I'm going to cut you. I have to be you around iron. That is so yeah. good. That's why none of you are offended because if you're iron. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm not around yeah. iron, you're going to be offended, baby. Yeah. Yeah. No, every time. Like every time. I believe that. Every time. I was like, ooh. My bad. I was thought I was giving you good advice. Yeah. I love that. So y'all last we have Jackie. But and definitely would, not least. Period. Not Period. Least. Period. Jackie not was at an all. animal, she would be a unicorn. unicorn. Yes. Oh, for oh, sure. For sure. Yes. Yes. Sparkles oh, and glitter. Sparkles. <laughs> she is a unicorn. Yes. Yes. Like always done up, always beautiful. <laughs> always. I can tell when. how much. I love how much you put into yourself. Yes. Like I feel like you, because we, I don't know, me Maybe. and you. <laughs> Jack, Bri no, Bri Bri has to wear makeup. Bri wait, y'all, Bree texted us this morning. Do we, do we need to wear makeup? I said, bitch, I get it. Yeah, you're like, because <laughs> I almost yeah. didn't, and this is my podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so, you said, I was about to be married. Like, to, to, Jack has I never think, had off day. Ever. No, never. ever. And I think that's such a great thing to like put so much into yourself, and it's take it's showing you take pride of yourself. Yeah. You yeah. are an, an excellent executor as well. Mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. YouTube, she produced her own YouTube series, yeah. the content. reality content. show. Her Content, Jackie is just never, on. and I'm like, how do you do it? Because I don't even have kids, and I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I will say that you are such a go getter. You're yeah. always on time, and I love that about you. Because she's and always on time. Always. One thing about Chi Chi, Chi Chi is going to be early. on time. Early. Yeah. Early. She, uh, you're early. I'm on time. Oh, yeah. She's like, I'm already here, guys. I'm like, yeah, I ain't got the shower yet. Did you yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you there? <laughs> and how creative? It's crazy if I'm not on time. For and Jackie's her. definitely creative. But you're, oh, you're super. Yeah, you. um Bubbly. And you hold it all together just perfectly. Yeah. But outside of that, you're just gonna get it done regardless. And not that she's With blunt, not that she's blunt, but you definitely are truthful. You ain't gonna hold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. No, I I you don't I'm gonna tell you how 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 I'm gonna
shit went to another level. Like this birthday. is where we came. Like no, I felt like we were friends dinner. at this moment. Yeah. <laughs> we went to we went to dinner like last year. It was Christmas. Christmas. Bree me. And, yeah. Uh -huh. We went to that little Braylon. you know that little pop up oh, yeah. shop. We were in that little igloo yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. And so we found. And she's like, me and Braylon had gotten to a really big argument while they were on vacation together for her birthday. Wow. And we and her wow. got into an argument. Yeah. And I wanted to end the conversation. B's like, Mitch, we're gonna keep going. what's up? Like, yeah. I don't like that. So me and her are going back and forth, yeah. but they were on vacation with... Just us two. With yeah. those two. And so when we Jackie get to was dinner... Like, what's wrong? I was like, I am having a conversation <laughs> with my best friend and it's not going well. <laughs> yeah. I admit it, Jackie. It's like only our second <laughs> argument ever in life. But Jackie, so we got out to dinner and Jackie was like, can I just say... I didn't appreciate that because it was my birthday and she was away arguing with you and that and I so yeah. appreciated that she yeah. said it but, yeah. she, but she didn't she wasn't coming for me yeah yeah and then and I accept I was like I thank you for telling me I was like but let me tell you yeah. I wasn't that wasn't my intent and yeah. we were able to have like this adult Real mature conversation, conversation yeah. Yeah. this woman conversation and she was like okay yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it was like fine. Yeah. It was like, like now we got that out the way. Yeah. 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 It was like yeah. I didn't like that, and I was like, I'm sorry that you had that experience. Let me tell you how my it happened experience. on my end. Yeah. And she was like, Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that either. Yeah. And right. then it was over. Y'all, let me tell you something. It's very easy to have a conversation. It's no. easy. It's easy. If there's an issue, that is the root hey, of friendship. This, this, may, this is like and basic. Everyone. And sometimes this made me feel this. Yeah. Every, yeah. And easy. You know what I mean? I, but and I one thing about it is she's going to have glitter on and be bedazzled. What? Yes. Bedazzled queen. In her hair, hair and in her eyes, eyes <laughs> everywhere. There's yeah. going to be some glitter. Jackie's going to have sparkle. You are the sparkle. I know you got glitter all over your house because it's just glitter be everywhere. You actually do. I do. Well, it's actually very clean. <laughs> Y'all tell us who you think you're the most like. Yeah. We are so happy we got to share our core friends. We're going to have to do a part two and like, yeah. Yeah. there's so With much you that we didn't even get into the I know, we didn't, about our we didn't get that. I had a, I had a question for Oh, well, go ahead. Oh, we had an amazing dinner. We got to wrap it up. We got to wrap it up. We got to do part two. Part two. This is one question. Okay, go ahead. Okay, okay. before we wrap it up. Before we wrap it up. Y'all want to oh, go off on a hideout it. on a unicorn. Just, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we gotta Save it for the next Dive in. Save it for part two. Save we, for part two. Okay. we will have a part we two. Will. I, I challenged all these women. <laughs> Megan was like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I challenged us to do an episode with no makeup, I'm no weed, no sweat. We could do it. We oh, I'm do down. It. I'm so cute. I'm in. I'm in. That is for sure. Jackie, oh, okay. I'm, 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 you're in no makeup? Right? No makeup. Megan. Get the no makeup. Layla can do it. I'm not. You know what what she, are we doing? I'll do braids. Well, Megan ain't agreeing to it, then I can't. Megan. Well, put a scarf on. Well, put it in the bun. Put a bun. Oh, she ain't braid, Jackie. Come on. Oh, okay. Come on. One, two, three. Oh! oh. oh. No, for sure. No, for sure. No, for sure. No, for sure. Thank y'all so much for watching. This is the beginning yeah. journey of our podcast live. Yay. Me and Meg have the Know For Sure podcast. And these were our first guests. We're so happy that our first guests were our friends. Yes. And we always want to leave every episode knowing something for sure. So what do we do? Okay. Okay. I, got one, I know. What do we okay. know for sure after, after this episode? After today's episode, I think we all know for sure that it's important to have a great group of friends yes. that accept you and hold you accountable and love, love you. you. Love you. And support you. Pour and support. into you. Yes. 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 And are yes. not competing with each other. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 So, that's what we know. Thank for you sure. guys. Thank you guys Thank so much you. for coming. Thank you. Guys. Check now. <laughs> we eat what? Oh, Thank you. was like. <laughs> Unicorn! No, for no, sure. For sure. Yeah, see, that's what I was planning. And to now do. we. And now we. No, no for sure. sure. No, for sure. No, for sure. No, for sure. No, for sure. Cheers. Everybody, thank you, ladies. Thank y'all. We love you guys. Yeah. Yeah. In the eye. In, in the eye. In the eye. In the eye. In the, eye. In the yeah. ass. I cannot in afford in that sex. <laughs> Bye, y'all. See you next week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Know For Sure podcast. Make sure you keep the conversation going and use our hashtag KnowForSurePod. Yes, we want to see you guys share the hashtag KnowForSurePod on all social media platforms. We want to keep the conversation going. Keep it going. Go to the website KnowForSurePod.com and follow us on all social media platforms, Instagram and Twitter, KnowForSurePod. <laughs>